An Omaha man is behind bars tonight accused of vehicular homicide. Saturday, we told you our viewer, or told our viewers about the young woman whose life was cut short, Janice Brown. She was only 16. Tonight, our Matthew Smith is talking to the man who was the victim of a hit and run minutes earlier. Investigators tell WWT6 that the man behind bars may have hit both drivers that night. I was so shocked. Showing me the damage to his car, Boyan Dogamonge tells me he was hit not once. Right here, that crack over here. But twice. He pulled on the side like he wanted to talk, and then uh, some more came off the tires, and then he uh, ran me over, ran my car over, and got my car out of the way, pushed it all the way in the middle of the road. It's believed that the driver didn't make it far. 28-year-old Tyvon Smith is behind bars tonight for motor vehicle homicide and driving without a license. Investigators say it's possible Smith was running from the crash with Doug Amonge when he hit the car here just up the road. Witnesses noted Smith was driving with his lights off and moving fast. Smith will live, but he badly injured two others while a third, 16-year-old Janice Brown, was killed. She didn't want me to be happy and not like dwell on it, but to make it a part of me. Brown's closest friends are now trying to make sense of the tragedy, trying to live life the way their friend would have. She hated when we had a bad day, so I guess when I do have a bad day, I just have to remember, like, I have to keep smiling for her. Come on, skinny love, what happened here? One thing that has brought smiles are memories like this. Brown loved to sing. You get that moment of realization that those were the only memories. Crazy. That's very frightening. As for Doug Amonge, he's simply shocked by the whole situation. Sad because of the connection he'll always share with 16-year-old Brown. That's sad. Younger. Oh, wow. Since the news broke, uh, friends and family have started to gather flowers, candles. You can even see the J balloon hanging above a mox tombstone that says, Rest in peace, Janice Brown. Uh, John Mallory, certainly this is hitting close to home for a lot of people, if for nothing else, her young age. Yeah, Matt, have investigators said anything else about the suspect in this? Uh, I've been working with investigators trying to learn more, but uh, what I've learned the most from tonight, John and Mallory, is that after doing some digging, we did learn that he has actually been arrested in the past for leaving the scene of an injury accident. All right, thank you. Matt Smith reporting live, and we are keeping in touch with Janice Brown's family and friends. They are expected to hold a memorial service, and then they will finalize their plans, and we will let you know.